This is David Hofmeister's Unwind Your Mind Back to God, read by Tarana Singh. Today we continue laying the foundation with Book 1. This is Chapter 5, Section 16. Why Guilt is Never Justified God creates our spirit perfect and nothing can change what God creates. The mind seemed to fall asleep and believed in dreams of separation. Though, in awakening, there is only a state of being one love. Reality is perfection and innocence. Though dreams of judgment seemed to bring fear and guilt and hatred. As judgment was laid aside, happy dreams came to replace the dreams of guilt. All dreams of guilt were centered on the body, for such was the target of guilt. It is as if the ego demanded some body to change or act different or be a certain way or play a certain role. The ego was synonymous with guilt and advised that the source of its guilt could be found in the world. It could not, for guilt had no real source, no real basis, and no body was ever to blame. The seeming source was a false belief which had been given faith or assumed to be true. And the world of perception rested on this error. Yet forgiveness sees the error has gone. Guilt was never the result of behavior, for behavior was only an effect or outcome. It was the attack thoughts believed to be real that were in need of release and not protection. Attack thoughts were referred to in the previous post as private thoughts. And these meaningless thoughts were what seemed to produce a meaningless world. Distractions and outlets of the world were designed to minimize the guilt without releasing it. Yet, forgiveness is a doorway to true peace, for it is the release of the error the release of all attack thoughts. Forgiveness always gently reminds you that you cannot be unfairly treated. Why? Spirit is invulnerable and our reality is only spirit. The body seemed to be unfairly treated and seemed to treat unfairly only through the ego's lens. Yet innocence is seeing that the ego's lens was nothing but distortion and held not a shred of truth. If ever the temptation seems to arise to feel guilty, remember that you are forever created by a loving God who knows forever the innocence and perfection of your being. And in aligning with the mind of God, innocence is all that can be experienced. There is no guilt in God and God knows not of the ego concepts of guilt and punishment. And in our sanity of thinking with God, we experience no guilt or fear or hatred. 
God is love. And this divine love never changes or fades or disappears. It shines forever. As dark clouds are released, the ever-shining light now comes directly into awareness. This is natural, for light is our natural state of being. I rejoice that guilt was never justified. I rejoice that forgiveness is always justified. For the gift of the Spirit is the opening to remember the Spirit of the I Am Presence. The gift is ours for the asking. I am very grateful for God's unconditional love.